What's up, metalheads, freaks, and geeks? I'm gonna go uh, without the flash tonight, just show you uh, what it looks like without the uh, light on the camera on. Plus the glare just uh, obstructs my view of the road on the windshield, so I really need to see where I'm going. Because, uh, got big ditches like that off to the left. If I went down one of those, I'd probably flip over. Right now I'm driving on uh, ice. I had to go out and pick up a few packages today. Uh, one for my nephew and then one for my drop family garden. There'll be some soap and stuff like that, so that's cool. Gotta watch out for stuff like this. It looks like you can ride right over or push through it, but it's solid ice is what it is. tonight. Uh, why? Because uh, it's really cold out. It's like 20 degrees you'll see up here in a second. It's uh, cold and uh, I get stuck in the back roads. It's a little easier for people to pick me up out here than it is to uh, get stuck on a back road somewhere. See if I can show you what the temperature is. So 7:52 at night. 20 degrees out. Seven Celsius, minus seven Celsius. To give you an idea how cold it is. The tips of my fingers are pretty cold, but uh, they'll be all right. I say you come first. So doing this is uh, not out of my realm, put it that way. I'm used to the weather. I know my limitations. Yeah. I had to go out today to get uh, fuel. Because I uh, put my own fuel in my tank. 14 gallons at a time. And uh, so I get my uh, fuel tank filled up. So I'm just stopping it from running out of fuel is what I'm doing. So I go down every uh, four or five days and uh, top it off with 15 gallons of fuel so I don't run out until I get my fuel uh, brought in. Did my laundry, did some grocery shopping. I'm out with my niece uh, Savannah for a little while at the laundromat. 
she needed a couple bucks, so I gave her 20 bucks to fold my laundry. <laughs> yeah. Help out where you can, right? Stopped the subway, got a cheesesteak sub, something like that. Ate that in the laundry mat while I pulled the groceries. I was watching Jade around 2 o'clock before I left. Then Thomas was coming on, Thomas Christ. I didn't get a chance to uh, catch any of his show tonight. Uh, which kind of blows. But uh, Wednesday and Thursday, really. Well, Wednesday, actually, Wednesday is really my only free day. So I have to cram a lot of stuff in to uh, Wednesday just to get all my shit done. Laundry, grocery shopping, fuel, all that stuff. The next week I'm going to do an oil change in my rig because it needs one for winter. So when I get that done, uh, it's going to be okay. What I'm driving on is called the, the bike path, the Ted Stevens bike path. Just have to be careful though, so you're not uh, going off the road or sliding off the road or uh, hitting uh, icebergs like this and messing up your undercarriage. I have enough clearance to uh, get over a lot of stuff, but still, when you're hitting stuff really hard uh, on your A-arms, uh, your undercarriage, and your frame, uh, even with the machine that's built to take it, it can still cause damage. Knock stuff out of line. Uh, yeah. Bend and tweak your frame a little bit. You really don't want to do that, man. Just to get this thing fixed. To get this thing fixed. It uh, costs a small fortune. Certain things like that aren't covered on the warranty. You know what I mean? He's got his tractor plugged in. You see, when I go home uh, tonight and I put my ATV away, the next time I'll be able to drive it without uh, the oil getting all stiff and stuff like that is when it's about 30 some degrees out just that freezing or right below it. Otherwise, I'll just stay home and uh, not worry about it. And I'll just go out when uh, there's enough uh, temperature so that things run smoothly. This is really rough because it's where the snow plows just push the snow over. So this is like really loose ice pack is what I would call it. But yeah, right, right beside me, to the right of me is the road. And I'm riding on the trail right now, which is a little bumpy. Now did you guys like the uh, whale number nine show with uh, Vinci, Lady Roadline Street, uh, Janiah Medved, Just Naya, uh, Mike Molino, and uh, 
Texas, I don't care. Man. It was an awesome show, man. Good people. Got to know them a little bit. Hear them play live. It's good stuff. If anybody wants to come on the whale show and give it a try, more than welcome to do so, man. Get my license for a long time. 
so it's not that I'm stuck with an ATV. It's just all I can uh, drive around without getting uh, hassled by the cops because I don't want to drive a vehicle without a, without a license and insurance because that's like a $3,000 fine. Uh, 60 hours community service and two years uh, probation for uh, driving without license and insurance. So an ATV is really my only option. And uh, I was able to get a good one. That's serving me well right now. If I didn't have this windshield on, I'd have to have a helmet and a full face wrap on my face just to go out and do some grocery shopping. But the windshield keeps all the wind all buggy and uh, helps me stay warm. And then because I have a mid-engine ATV, the heat from the uh, engine rises up and keeps you warm also. <coughs> Just about home. What I'm going to do is uh, unpack my groceries that I got, uh, park my ATV, wrap it up, and when I come inside, uh, just watch the YouTube and chill off with it. Right on. I got some nice lights out. some of those too, just to keep my uh, area around my house all lit up. Just an Alaska adventure video. This is how I have to uh, get around, even in the uh, wintertime. But the good thing is, is I enjoy it. We're at the Hippie Hut. Thought for a split second there, I saw a moose, man. Pull up here a little ways. And do my groceries or unload my groceries. Right on. Folks, I'm going to say love, peace, hippie, grease, be cool, be kind, treat each other with kindness and respect. And the most important thing is don't be a dick, man. Right on. Later, people. Right on.